1988, when he was 32 years old, my father had a life-changing experience. He was digging a trench near a arts and leisure center where he was working at the time. And the authorities, they gave him that blueprint. <laughs> and he was digging a trench for a telephone cable to be laid down. And he had this blueprint where it was marked where he had to dig the trench. The authorities marked <laughs> the correct place to dig the trench. It was all marked out. And uh, he had this huge crowbar, steel crowbar, very long and heavy. And he was digging the trench with it, pounding away. It was frozen ground, actually. It was in winter or in uh, late autumn something. And he hit a power cable, 6,000 volt strong power cable. I don't know uh, what the authorities were thinking or what they were thinking of. <laughs> of themselves but they marked the, the, the right spot for the trench the right route right over that power cable and he hit it well it was just lucky that he short-circuited it and there was this blast of like a, a blaze of sparks right in his face. It flew in his face and he thought that he had gone blind. He didn't actually go blind but at the time he thought so and was a a shock you can imagine. And the crowbar, the huge steel, the thick crowbar was severed in two by the electric charge but it was just lucky that he short-circuited it because if he hadn't it would have been all over and done for him so he was delivered to a hospital with his face scorched by this gigantic blaze of sparks and in 1988, I was five and uh, I came to visit him and my little brother too. And he was all black in the face and his eyes were shut. He couldn't see us. It was a, a while because before he could open them up. When the crust was gone, when the crust had healed and peeled off, and we were scared, he was so unrecognizable. Kids don't play with power cables and those in authority, you really made a mess out of this.